אז הוא, אז הוא, קראו נפר, קראו נפר. All right, beautiful day. We're nearing the end of our celebrated new moon cycle. It's glorious time, so we'll do a little of that. Let's get into our adumbration for the day. We'll start, as usual, with the all-over body check-in after our shiasha. Then we'll get into a little Asar stance today. Then we'll get into some Qigong. We'll get into the lunar cycle. We'll get into the form. And then we'll get into our wisdom from the sage of the ages right after a breathing exercise. And then we'll get our shiasha and then we'll get out. And barring any questions that you may have on social media that we'll be able to get to, of course, you can like, share, subscribe down below here. and Hit the bell so you know how frequently to get our updates. And then we're going to take a brief, we'll talk about that at the end. We're going to take a brief hiatus. And we'll talk about that so that everybody's good. Next week, we're good. And then we're going to take a little bit of an August break. But we'll let everybody know what's happening with that so they'll be able to get that in. All right. Without any further much talking from me, we like to get into the action here. Let's get moving. I'm going to start out with Uchi position. All the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. From here, we're going to go into feet parallel, shoulders width. So you step, shift the weight, and pivot, and balance the weight between the legs. We're going to do our all over body check in. Let's start again, bringing the hands up, lift the weight, and we're going to rotate the foot and change direction. Get it down, wiggle the toes. All your toes will start with the big toe first, and you work your way down to the pinky toe, one toe at a time. All right, shift the weight, step down on the foot. Rotate. Change direction. Get down here first. Toe up, wiggle the toes. One toe at a time. Start with the big toe. Break your way down to the pinky toe. All right, flatten, drop the hands, and work the shoulder. Take it to the front. And the other shoulder. And take it to the front. All right, right hand. Change direction. And wiggle the fingers. One at a time. Switching hands. Take it 
and change direction. Move the fingers one at a time. Drop the hand and work the head. Left to right. Taking chin down and up, looking over that left shoulder. Looking over the right shoulder, taking the chin up and down. Front and center, then down and up. Take your head around in a circle. On your next in breath, take the head around the opposite direction. Next in breath, bring the head right back to front and center. Then we shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Now we're going to come back to Buchi. Pyramid hands. Shift the way to the right. You're going to step left a little wider than shoulders width. Right, balance the waist, sit down, tuck the bottom, get that Asar stance, 12 breaths.
pyramid hands. Shifting all the way to the right leg, sliding the left foot into Uchi position. Hands come down, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Back into Uchi position. Right. Shift the weight, step in the key parallel shoulders width. Pyramid hands. Inhale. And reach forward from the toes, bending from the waist. Extend in the head, reaching for the toes. Inhale. You want to keep the legs straight up and down. And exhale. Inhale. Pyramid hands. Exhale. Inhale. Pyramid hands. Exhale. Inhale. Pyramid hands. Exhale. Inhale, pyramid hands. Exhale, bring the hands down into the gathering. And swinging arms. Let them swing. All right. Take the hands like this. Breathing in, left hand up. As you exhale, switch hands. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the left hand, keeping the right hand up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale some more. Inhale some more. Inhale. Fill up. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. Run center as you exhale. And shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, we'll cheat position. I'm going to do the lunar cycle of the form, short form. Here we go. The Uchi, be parallel, we begin.
All right. Now we do the short form from Wu Chi. All right, check it out. Grab a seat. I'm gonna sit tall. This is called breathing as long as the arm the variation. Breathing as long as your arm, okay? Real simple. Going to take that left index finger, block off the left nostril, extend the right arm. Head is level. You're going to see the right arm. Fingers look like so. You're going to look at the index finger from the corner of your eyes. You're going to use your peripheral vision to see it. You're going to breathe in. You're going to follow it all the way in here to the cross eyes. Then we're going to breathe out and follow it. Eyes are straight ahead using your peripheral vision. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Oh. Five breath. Breathe it in. Out. Oh. Five breath. Breathe it in. Out. Breathe in. Out. In. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Release. Follow down on top of the knees, breathing in. Exhale through the mouth, cleansing breath. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale through the mouth, cleansing breath. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale through the nostrils. All right. Slide forward. We're going to get into the wisdom from the sages of the ages, starting with the literary traditions of Tai Chi Chuan, the essence of Tai Chi. Oh, I've done that. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is from the Tai Chi Chuan Ching by Shang San Feng, one who had been accredited with founding Tai Chi Chuan. The motion should be rooted in the feet, released through the legs, controlled by the waist, and manifested through the fingers. The feet, legs, and waist must act together simultaneously so that while stepping forward or back, the timing and position are correct. If the timing and position are not correct, the body becomes disordered and the defect must be sought in the legs and waist. Teachings of Patahatep. Here we go. So it says, if you are among the people then gain your supporters by building trust. The trusted person is one who does not speak the first thing that comes to mind, and they will become a great leader. A person of means has a good name, and their face is benign. People will praise them even without their knowledge. On the other hand, one whose heart obeys their belly asks for contempt of themselves in the place of love. Their heart is naked. Their body is unanointed. The great hearted is a gift of God. One who was ruled by their appetite belongs to the enemy. And the Tao Te Ching. Mystic application. <laughs> Military strategists have said, I dare not be the host, but prefer to be the guest. I dare not advance one inch, but I prefer to retreat a foot. This is called marching as if without motion, brandishing arms as if having none, attacking as if without enmity, seizing as if without weapons. No disaster is greater than belittling the enemy. Belittling the enemy almost ruins my treasures. Therefore, when two armies encounter each other, the side that laments war will win. We got some heavy things to chew on today. Spend your time and remember, a revelation or something as it gets revealed to you through your study, through your practice. Spend a night with it before you tell another person. Because the revelation is for you. It was revealed to you through your work and your study and your practice. Others who may not have done the same kind of practice, they may have an intellectual understanding, but they may not know. And the knowing comes in the application. So take care with what gets revealed to you. Because remember, if it has not yet been revealed to others, it may bring nothing but confusion. And if you're not 
prepared to handle that, it may have you questioning what you actually learned. Which would lead us to believe that you don't know. So take care. Look forward to seeing you all again. Let's bow out and we say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Ashe. Respect to the ancestors and homage to the eternal witnesses of the earth and sky. I bid you Hatep, Herunafer, Ankh Uja Seneb, Amenre Nesut Necher, Atenre Neb, and Ankh. That's a cool.